at least two reasons why I accepted this invitation. The first one is that, as I think everybody sees at the time, for this Italian government, Mediterranean is a priority. And there cannot be Mediterranean with it without Italy and Libya together. Uh, that's, that's also the reason why uh, in this two years, we've been improving a lot our cooperation on many sites. I will come back on that for, to answer to your question. And uh, the second one is that there are challenges in this time that we cannot face alone. Migration is one of those challenges uh, for what the Prime Minister was saying. And I want also to greet my uh, good friends. I, I saw many good friends here. Prime Minister of Malta, Prime Minister of Tunisia, Commissioner Skinners, all people that try to work together in these times on the topic of migration. And uh, uh, to face seriously this topic, I think we need a 360 degree, uh, degrees approach. Uh, Italy has been working a lot on that, moreover on the multilateral level. And this approach has mainly three or four lines. The first one is um, fight against human trafficking. For what the United Nations tell us is that human trafficking is nowadays one of the most power to, powerful criminal uh, you know, traffic in the world. There are people making lots of money using the desperation of the fragile. Uh, persons. And we cannot allow it, for these organizations are becoming very powerful, but they don't care about those human rights and human, human beings. It's something in Italy we see every day happening, in Malta uh, uh, too, and, and that's why we, we want to fight against human traffickers. Also because illegal migration is an enemy of legal one. Look what happened in Italy in the last years. We could not allow many people to enter legally, for we had too many illegal migrants. We cannot allow that it is, traffic, uh, uh, that it is criminal organizations deciding who has the right or not to live in our countries. And that is a second part of the work we have to do, the path for legal flows of migration. My government has done a, 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 a flux decree that uh, lasts for three years, widening the quotes, and widening the quotes moreover for the countries, also for the countries that help us in fighting illegal migration. But the most important point is that you cannot solve the problem of migration if you don't go at the origin of the problem. I mean, if you don't pose yourself the problem that we have uh, to respect, moreover, the right not to be forced to emigrate. And that means that we need, uh, that the most important thing that we have to do is create a new cooperation, moreover, with, between, I think, Europe and Africa. And I've been, you know, uh, telling many times that, yes, we cooperate and we do many things together. What I don't completely agree with sometimes is the approach that we've had. I mean, I don't think the charity approach is the good one, is the right one. I mean, okay, I will try to save you somehow. The predatory approach is certainly the wrong one. The right, the, right, the, the, the right way to cooperate is a peer-to-peer -peer cooperation, is a strategic cooperation. I mean, bringing investments to solve problems of both. Yes. I will make an example to make it easy. Energy. Yes. We have got many crises. We are facing many crises, but every, cri every crisis hides also an opportunity. Now we have a problem in Europe about energy sources. Yes. Africa is, North Africa, but all Africa, is potentially a huge producer of energy for itself mainly, but also that it could export. Italy is interested for it is the door. So concentrating our efforts on a strategy that 
ties our destiny for the future. It's not, it's not something we are doing for six months or three months. No. It's something on which we want to grow together. So Italy decided to give, to give, let's say, the good example with this Matei Plan for Africa. We've been uh, choosing some topics, energy, infrastructure, agriculture, water, yes. education, health, beginning with some nations and then widening the best practices, also involving private sector, so public and private uh, resources. We put on it many, some, some billion euros of, of our cooperation, and I think it has to be matched also with other initiatives, for example, at the European level, the Global Gateway, at the G7 level, the PIIG, and we are yes. trying to match them. Obviously, Libya think, is yeah. one of our priorities. Yes. We've been working on energy together. We are working on infrastructures together. We are working on training together. We are working on many topics which are uh, very, very strategic for both. Also for, yes, we are so, we have a so ancient cooperation that also, for example, in training uh, uh, people in the labor market can make the difference between us. But we've been choosing with Prime Minister the Weber, and we keep on talking about that. There will be a business forum in the, last, in the next uh, months that put together our best companies. Compo stay until I stay until there, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a Libyan citizen at the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm, go, I'm becoming a citizen. I'm coming, I'm coming back, so we'll make another initiative. But also on the migratory level, it is very important. I consider this initiative, for example, we've been doing, and I will shut, the Rome process, putting together many initiatives, many countries of the wide Mediterranean. The next one will be in Tunisia. I'm happy that the, the Prime Minister of Tunisia is here, and initiatives like that help us concentrating in a more concrete way to solve together this problem, while we work at the bilateral level to reinforce the cooperation which is necessary also to do the rest of the work. Thank you for your answer and for your uh,